So Photoshop has just turned 30 and to celebrate what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 30 of my best Photoshop tips. But rather than jam it all into one huge video, I'm going to break it into three parts. And right now we've got the first 10 tips inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and of course we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Photoshop. Also this year is the 20th anniversary of Photoshop Cafe, so go figure. So right now I have some of my copies of Photoshop in front of me and you can see some of my earliest ones that I have here is Photoshop 2.5 on floppy disk. I've got Photoshop 5.5 here and I even have image ready. So round about the time that Photoshop 5 came out, Image Ready came out so we could add things into the web. Then at 5.5, Photoshop had Image Ready integrated into it. All right, just a little bit of history there. So why don't we jump into the tips right now? And the very first tip we're gonna do here is combining a bunch of these different windows into a single document. I know you've all done it and you've all needed it. So here we go, we've got all these different images in separate layers. Kind of crazy, right? We want to put them all together into one document. In fact, if I go under here, we can go under the arrange and we can tile them. We can see, you know, we've got six up and we've still got more. It's just never ending. So what do we do? All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to select one of these right now. Okay, so we're going to go to file. We're going to go down to scripts and then under scripts, we're going to load files into stack. Kind of similar to what we did in a previous tutorial. Except this time, what we're going to do is we're going to choose to add open files. Shows them all right there. Click OK. And now, if you look at this active document right now, we can see all the files are loaded into one layer. So what do we do with all the windows? We just go to the regular tiling first. Let me turn this off. So let's just consolidate all to tabs. Then what we're going to do is right click and we're going to choose close others. Closes all the windows except for the current one, which now has all the layers loaded in here. Awesome. So why don't I select all these layers here? I'm just going to select them and I'm just going to delete them all by hitting the delete key. Now, what if I want to trim this down to the size of this? In fact, why don't I put that layer right in the middle and I want to trim the document to the size of that. So rather than going through and making it difficult, so we're just going to go under image and under image, we're going to go down to trim, make sure it's set to transparent pixels and click OK. And now that document size is now trimmed to the size of our image. OK, so why don't I move this over a little bit? So we're just kind of nudging it over to the side. And the next thing I want to show you how to do is to duplicate it. So what if I want to duplicate this more than once? If I hold down the Alt or the Option key, what it will do is it will drag out a copy of it. So now we've got two copies right there. In fact, if I hit the Alt or Option key, I can create a third copy. You can't see it or Alt Option. And now I'm creating a fourth copy. You can see them one, two, three, four. You can't see them all there because obviously they're not going to fit within the window. So now if we want to expand the size of our canvas to cover all the images that we have in there, this is how we do it image reveal all there we go and now as you can see we've got all our images right there that's awesome what if i want to scale them all together so all i need to do is select the first one hold the shift key and click on the bottom so all the layers are now selected hit Control t or command t for free transform and then as i bring this up holding down the shift key notice i can resize them all together and just hit Enter. Now, if I want to select these layers individually, I can click on them and we can see we can select them there or I can just hit the command key and click and that would be control click to select individual layers. If you want to select multiple ones, hold down control or command and click drag around them all. And now we've selected all four of these. Now, here's the thing. If we wanted to evenly align or distribute these, what we do is go up under here we can see we've got a line and distribute. A little bit hard to tell there. Why don't we just go back here and just make these smaller so you can see. And I'm just gonna hit enter and I'm just gonna control click. And we're gonna pull these out of the way here. And let's have a look at it here. So command or control 
and drag to select all the different layers. Notice we did that. We just selected it on canvas by hitting that control or command and marquee dragging selects all the layers. Now, if we want to align them all left, just click on the one that aligns them to the left. See that? And if we want to evenly distribute them, we just go to the distribute, which is that one there. And now put perfectly even spacing between them so we can perfectly align and distribute all those layers. Okay, what if I want to duplicate multiple layers? Like I want to copy all of these. Well, all I need to do is just select them, hold shift key, and now I've selected them all. And there's two ways we could, actually there's several ways. We can hit command J and that will copy them out like that. Let me undo that. The other way is to just drag them to the new layer icon. That will also duplicate them or just hit the alt or the option key and drag them out there. And notice I'm able to duplicate them right there and now I've got eight. So we don't just duplicate individual objects, we can duplicate groups of objects. And if we wanted to duplicate all of these, select them, alt or option and drag them out. And look at that, now we've got a big grid of these. Now, what if we want to convert one of these to a background? Because there's no real background. These are all floating, see that? Or if we want to create a layer underneath, hit Control or Command and then click the new layer. And that will create the new layer underneath instead of on top. Let's fill it with the background color, which is white. Control or Command Backspace fills with white. All right, but the thing is, it's still a layer. See how it can still be dragged around? We want to lock this into a background. This is how we do it. We go up under here and we go up under layer. Under layer, we choose new and we're going to create a new background from layer. Click on there and now it's a background. So all the things you could do with a background, you can do with this. And of course it's locked. It doesn't move around. Now, what if you wanted to convert this background to a layer? Very common thing. Super easy. Just click on the padlock. And now it's a layer and we can apply layer styles and all the things you do to layers. Okay, what if I want to draw a straight line? Well, I'll show you how to do that. It's very easy. We're just going to grab our brush tool. Just hitting the B key. There's our brush. Let's grab a just a nice simple brush here. We'll do a hard round brush. And what we're going to do is click on the foreground color and let's choose a good color that we want to use. I don't know, say something like a red just so we can easily see what we're doing. And if we want to do some kind of marking over this, just Click release. Now, where do you want to draw the straight line to? Go over here, hold down the shift key and click and that'll draw a straight line. Let's do it again. We're going to click here, release, hold the shift key, click and see what we're doing there. Click, shift, click, shift and see how we can quickly draw lines that way. Now this also works for the eraser tool and different things like that. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you an interesting way to straighten this layer. Yes, you could go into the crop tool and just rotate it around, but you know, just humor me for a second. Let's grab on our eyedropper here and we're going to go down to the ruler tool. And then what we're going to do is just click. And what we want to do is measure the angle. So here's an interesting thing. Now that I've added this little line there, we can see that it's 3.8 degrees. Now, if we go into image and then we choose image rotation and go down to arbitrary, notice what it does is it shows us there's the angle that we put in here. Cool thing. Click OK and that will automatically straighten it to the angle of that. Yeah, sure. There's other ways of doing straightening, but I think that's just kind of a cool one. So there we go, guys. That's at least 10 tips. There's probably a few more extras thrown in there just for good measure. And I've got two more sets coming. If you'd like to see more of these tips, let me know in the comments underneath. And also, which one of these was your favorite? And were any of these new? And by the way, don't miss these tips. Uh, hit the subscribe button right now if you're not a subscriber. And turn on the notifications so you know when I'm going to upload the next two. And by the way, guys, if you like this, smash the like button. Enter dust. And until next time. I'll see you at the cafe.